Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Alan with WL Madden. We're going to wait a couple minutes to get everybody on here real quick. And then we'll start chatting. So give me just a minute here. It looks like we're a couple minutes early today. And we're probably going to have to wait a minute for everybody to get on here. So, oh, here we go. Some people are popping on. So let me put the live chat on here. There we go. And how are you guys doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Let's see what we got here. Live chat, there we go. Okay. Let's take a look. Hey, Marianne, how are you? And I have good news for you guys, Marianne, um, especially. We have, and just so you guys know what we did, we have a little change in things. We had brought Marcus on with us, which would have been delightful to be able to keep him with us. However, we had a lot of training that we had to do with Marcus in order to catch him up to what we're doing. So he's gotten a little taste, but we had to bring on someone that already understood the business loan territory and the credit card processing territory. So we have a gentleman named Mike who's got a lot of experience in both for to handle the calls. And he's already brought in quite a few deals. And um, Marianne and your sister, you guys will be getting a thumb drive that has um, a, uh, leads on it and they'll be sent out to you. Those That shows you all the leads that are being contacted and then we're, gonna, we're building out a portal so that you guys have access to be able to see exactly what's going on. It has the notes and all the things that we've been telling you about on them. So, hey, Philip, how are you? So just so you guys know, and that goes for anybody who's, who's gotten any lead campaigns or anything like that. So those portals, they're, they are still being built, but in the meantime, we're sending everything out on a USB drive. You guys can plug them into a computer and you guys can see all the, then we have some really amazing leads right now that are um, business, they're business loan leads. And what they are is leads that of business owners that requested already uh, information on business loads. So in order to speed things up on the leads for everybody, we wanted to get some loan leads in there because that pays bigger upfront commission. And so that's something that we're also going to, and that goes for David as well. Hey, David. So any of our, our agents that have um, any leads that we're calling on your behalf, that's what we've done is we have, um, we've, got a big chunk. We got uh, a few thousand leads. You guys are going to get some stuff in the mail relatively soon. In the next week, they already put the leads on a thumb drive. They've already put the campaigns together. And so that's going to be real beneficial for you to be able to see. It actually has the name of the business, how much money they requested, when they want the money, what they want the money for. And this is just a quick reminder for everybody too that watches this webinar later is that Right now in the business service world, we, you know, going backwards and talking about money, business owners need money. All they need to qualify is to be in business for three months and then also that they bring in $10,000 a month minimum. Okay. So we're going to be working on some things that we're trying to organize for you guys to make it real simple for you. But one thing that we all know that we've been discussing is that we want to get all the applications. So for those of you that are, you know, need applications and you guys need scripts, those two things are things that we want to give to you in the back office. So Mike and myself and Vince and a few other people, hey Brian, we're putting together those items for you to itemize in the back office and Greg is going to load them in there. Again, you guys have been waiting a little while now for some of these items to appear in the back office. So we just want to make sure that you have exactly what you need when it comes to applications, when it comes to scripts, when it comes to videos on each service. One thing that we don't want to do is overcomplicate things for you because it doesn't have to be very difficult. Hey, Patricia, and this also goes, so I see quite a few of you on here that were calling leads for, so I'm glad that you guys are all on here because we were just talking about that. So for those of you that uh, have gotten lead files from us, we brought in a specialist in the industry of funding and merchant financing. Hello. Um, and so 
these so Mike uh, his name is Mike and he owns a couple uh, call centers as well you guys may some of you may have remembered that we had uh, a person that uh, oh, and I think we have an agent that's calling right now and I don't know if she's able to get on the webinar hello hey Andrew Okay, the, it's the same link. Is it? It's the same link that it always is. I don't know if the link went out yesterday, but it's the same link. If you go back through your website, and it's the same link that you would always click on. If you go to that link, it's on right now, and we're at, you're actually on TV. But you're not. I am on the phone with you though. So the webinar is going on right now. I wanted to answer the phone because I knew it was you. So I wanted to make sure that you could get on with us. Okay. Okay, well, it's, there is one going on right now that's live, um, and if you, I, I'm not sure how I could get you to get on there other than just to click on that link because um, it's the same link that we always use. So if you go maybe now that it's started, um, you we may, you might be able to get on there, but I'm not sure. But the other option is that to watch it right after it's it's finished, which it'll probably be a little bit shorter tonight. But I'm on. I'm actually on with everybody right now. So. What I'll do, I mean, the, I think that you just need to click, if I'm correct, on the link, um, and you just, when you click on it, it should open up to the live, because it's the same link that we send out every week. So it's live right now, and you should be able to get on it. Um, well, tonight we're going to be talking about business loans. We actually have some leads that we got, and they're really high-quality leads for some of our agents that we're calling on. So we're talking about the leads, and we're talking about what we're going to be building. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're going to be, and you can watch it afterwards. It's going to be on there, okay? Okay. All right, yep. Okay, sorry about that, guys. We have uh, one of our agents that actually makes a lot of phone calls for us, and she's doing really well with Wendy's program. She calls businesses on a regular basis. So, again, all of you guys are going to be doing things different, differently. We're getting a lot of information on funnel systems, and our website is already set up for you guys to have funnel systems to connect to it. So when when and we're, we can spend a minute talking about that as well. But let's just rewind now that all of you guys are on there. So for those of you that have gotten different lead campaigns, what we did is we got some really high quality leads in of business owners that already requested information on business loans. They're extremely well. They're going really well already, and they're picking up a lot of pace. The reason that we did this is for those of you that have gotten lead campaigns from us and that have been patient, um, and that would include people like Patricia. Um, I think we have Brian, David, and um, and Marianne. So for the for for you four, um, and and just so that people understand what's going on, we're trying. We wanted to gain traction in one area. We have some merchant service deals in the works as well. We had brought Marcus on. To actually that we wanted him to be able to get trained out and to call those leads on your behalf. And Marcus is a great guy. Believe me, we would love to uh, get him fully trained out so that he could um, you know, be more uh, successful with what we're doing. But with the amount of leads that we had coming in and with the amount of training that was needed, we needed to bring in a specialist, especially because of the campaigns that we're running for you guys. And so what we did is we brought in a gentleman named, named Mike. He also owns a call center that's um, in, in Mexico. So some of you may have heard that we use different call centers to initiate calls and things of that nature. So what we've done is we've taken Adam and Keith um, and you guys that call in on a regular basis are familiar with Adam and Keith and we have Mexico's call center. They call the initiate the lead and we've already gotten a bunch of bank statements in. So the process, just so you guys know, and this would go for anybody who's working with a business owner. When it comes to business loans, all we need is we just need three months of bank statements to find out what we can get them approved for. So we're going to make some videos and I know that you guys also want scripts to you know, kind of explain what it is, what's the process for a business owner that wants to get money. So for a business owner that wants money, they're always going to, uh, obviously going to, they're going to ask, what is the interest rate? Okay. The easiest thing to respond with is that, you know what, the interest rates are always going to be different uh, depending on your situation. But if you give me one second, I'll get you on the phone with a specialist. At that time, you can hit the live transfer button or the helpline on the mobile application. 
or you can call the 877 number, which once again, I'll put on here. This goes right to the office. So at the office where Mike, Keith, Adam, all those guys that we've you know brought over for you, um, they're at this phone number right here during business hours, and it actually gets forwarded after that. But during business hours, this is the number that you want to call right here. And that would connect you directly to someone on the sales team that will take that call for you and answer any phone calls. If you guys want to go as far as to get statements in, bank statements is all we need to find out what they qualify for. So the bank statements, that's what our guys do once we talk to the business owners. We say, look, if you can send over three months worth of bank statements, then we can tell you how much you're approved for and then we'll have you fill out an application. So you know, what one thing that we do want to do is for anybody that does want to go the extra mile to be able to send out applications, whether it's for merchant funding or for loans, then we want to give you access to those applications. That way you have them in your back office and you can also see the types of requirements and I think it will give you more information on how this whole process works. But what we do on our end when we're calling leads is we go through the leads, we ask the business owner, hey, are you looking to borrow money? They say yes, we say great. We'd like to get you, you know, get you approved. All we need is we just need three months worth of bank statements. Do you bring in at least ten thousand dollars a month in revenue as a business? If they say yes, we do bring at least ten thousand dollars in revenue. Then we have a ninety-eight uh, percent approval rate for businesses that bring in at least ten thousand dollars and that are have been in business for at least three months. That's all it takes to get these business loans. Credit doesn't matter um, to get them approved. It does matter on their rates and things like that. Obviously, people with better credit have better situations. So going back to basics on the loans, that's how easy those deals are. I also want to get you scripts so that way you guys have scripts available to you and you guys know what to say. I know that Patricia and Lawrence, you guys have been waiting a while for me to come up with scripts. So we actually put together some bullet points on each one of the subject lines to go in after. We also tried to make some changes on the website itself. You may have noticed on WL Madden on the actual website, we've made some adjustments and right there on the website gives you the basics. That way you guys can go through with a business owner and you can explain any of the benefits of any of the products. But on credit card processing, it's real simple as well. We're the only company that can completely, you know, if we need to give them free equipment for whatever reason in order to get, if, they, if they're bringing in a good amount per month and it's going to be a good account and we have to give them free equipment, we will give them free equipment. If we if we can get a lease on a brand new piece of equipment, like a Clover unit, that's the, the machine that you guys see on the website now. A lot of business owners really love that machine. If they already have a Clover unit, the beautiful part is we can reprogram a Clover unit to be able to use the cash discount program. What that means is that we just simply make a phone call to them, we have them enter in some information on their system, and then we can literally reprogram their equipment to use the same equipment they already have. We're the only merchant company that also is connected to a software company that can do things like that, especially on the cash discount program. So other companies that do the cash discount program, they force people to sign a large lease and the equipment they give them is not the Clover unit and they can't even use the Clover unit for the cash discount program. With us, they can. So, you know, we do want to give you the bullet points on funding, on Wendy's program, on the cash advance, on any of these different programs that you guys are going to be talking to people about. But keeping it back to basics and keeping it real simple, again, still talking about business, talking to businesses about money and about lowering their rates or eliminating their fees is still going to be the easiest way for you to get your foot in the door. And that is going to, you know, really, we want to give you the scripts and bullet points on just those two things to keep it real simple. A lot of these other things that you're learning about that we do for businesses are great. Um, oh, when a business owner says no, uh, how do you tell if they mean no or try harder? <laughs> okay. So this is, this would be, you know, sales training when we, if we have uh, a webinar on sales training, uh, typically if a business owner says no, then it probably means no, uh, you know, this isn't, um, you know, but I, unless I'm right there, it's going to be difficult for me to say, 
you know, what, what, why they're saying no. I mean, a lot of times um, I will talk to business owners and it might be an objection that they have that they just need more information. But without me understanding the situation, no usually means no. My mother taught me that a long time ago. So if someone says no, it probably means no. But again, we want to go back to rapport building. When we think about all these different business services, this is still goes back to relationships and building relationships with people is, you know, the most important thing when it comes to business services and, and even opening up the door to talk to business owners. And that's why when we put together that presentation for you about you know, how to approach a business owner 101, we gave you information on the best ways to talk to business owners in that little three-step system that we put together for you on how to build rapport. We're going to be doing a lot more sales training stuff because it seems like we have a lot of people that are getting interested in talking to these business owners and we've actually been getting quite a few leads straight from the, uh, a lot of agents that are talking to business owners. So when it comes to sales training, we want to put together some basic sales training guidelines for you on top of what you guys have already seen to teach you exactly how to talk to these business owners and, and exactly what to say. So when it comes to the funding, again, what, what's important is that the, the, Business owners are typically going to ask you what the rates are and because they all want money. Believe me, business owners are always wanting to get more money for one reason or another. So they're always going to ask you, well, you know, that would all depend on what the rates are. Say, well, you know, uh, that's going to be dependent on your whole situation. But, you know, if I can get you on the phone with a specialist, they can give you the information you need real quick. We work through over 32 different lenders and we're kind of like the lending tree of the lending world when it comes to different ways that we can get you connected and different options that you have. So I'm going to give you guys applications and give you guys access to scripts. And just for your own knowledge, what we also always need from business owners is three months worth of bank statements. That's all we need. As a matter of fact, we don't even need the application just to find out what they're initially approved for. And so that's for your information. Now, the leads that we're calling on behalf of a few of the agents that we're doing campaigns for, okay? You guys, we just got our hands on some leads um, uh, quite a few that we're gonna that we mixed in with your campaigns, and we're sending you out a thumb drive. We're sending you guys out a thumb drive that has uh, your leads on them, and we put this these in there with your leads. So we actually gave you guys we split up for all the people that have been patient with us. We split up a certain number of leads on those uh, on those 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 what those little usb drives so you can see the leads you can see all the information on them these are pre-approved businesses that already when i say pre-approved they've already requested the need for money and so all we have to do now is get on the phone with them and get them on applications we've been going through them for the past few days and they've been going really well <clears throat> so for those of you that have leads with us that's what's been going on on those on those leads and this in the approach that any one of you are going to take in public with these different people again we want to go back to basics on just talking to business owners about money um, and if we can focus on that in eliminating their processing fees those are the two biggest easiest ways to get your foot in the door with a business so we're gonna put together some sales training videos for you so you can get a little bit more information about you know how what sales is all about and how to approach businesses but I'm letting you know right now that from my experience and from doing this over quite a number of years that whenever you're trying to be helpful to a business owner and whenever they genuinely know that you're just trying to help them, that you work with a great group, WL Madden, you have the website. A lot of times if you have the website popped up right on your phone, then that's going to help you. So you can actually pull the website up on your smartphone and then you can scroll right through the services. So if you guys have ever gone on your phone and typed in WLMadden.com, you guys probably noticed that all the services come up instead of being on the screen like where it's broken down, they go one by one and you can shoot them to the different services and right there on your phone say, I work with this great group, WL Madden, and I can get you on the phone with one of their agents right now to talk to you about funding and we can get you uh, an instant quote. We can get you approved in less than 24 hours and then we can have your money in the account within 48 hours. Now, you guys already know on your website, you guys have some real useful tools where they can actually get the money put in their account within 24 hours without ever even talking to an agent. But 
that type of business owner it has to have decent credit. So the fund box is made generally for people that have pretty good credit. They're gonna they're gonna be the ones that qualify. A lot of the business owners that are looking for money may have lower credit scores. And if they have lower credit scores, we still have a huge success rate with them as long as they've been in business for three months and are bringing in at least $10,000 a month, we can get them something rather than nothing. So I wanted to talk to you about that today and also talk to you about Mike. Like we had told you is that what we had to, Marcus, uh, we, he's, he's, very, he's a great guy and we love to continue to work with him. He's going to be working with us on some different projects, but we brought Mike in to be able to speed up the process as far as his knowledge on credit card processing and business loans in general. He's been in this industry for a huge number of years and that's why he's actually fielding the calls for you guys because he's got a lot more experience than Marcus and um, and Marcus is, um, you know, we, we, he's, he's needing a lot of training with us because he hasn't been in that industry before as far as what, what we do is finance and credit card processing. So the amount of training that we need to give him at the moment is too much for us to be able to train him and to make sure that you guys do well with your campaigns and to make sure that your guys' calls are getting handled just as if I was handling them. So Mike right now doesn't need any training because he's been working with us. He just needs to know who our lenders are. So we already connect him to all of our lenders and to all of our processors he's going to be dealing directly with all of the business owners and working with the banks all right we have some special things that we're building for you guys that we've been working on for quite some time and when you hear the word funnel you guys all know a little bit about funnels we have Brandon and Jess that know how to build funnels but we have some pretty special things that we've been working on with some other groups to get you guys access to actual funnels that you guys can use again the one thing with funnels is they need traffic but the funnels are already built out and for those of you that don't know what funnels are here's the way they work is that if you go to the reputation management system on our website or you go to the funding uh, you know where the if you go to funding and you put, click on read more and then you can you click on the little button it takes you to another page which is one of our banks that we work with right so essentially that is the form of a funnel somebody's going on our website then they click they want to learn more about processing or they want to learn more about funding they click on funding to read more then it says click here to get approved right so that is a form of a funnel essentially now what people like Jess and Brandon do is they build out a landing page that goes out to the general public that has information about eliminating processing or making money you know uh, getting money for your business and they're marketing it to specific demographics and they're pushing traffic into it so they're pushing traffic of people that might need some of these services by picking the demographics of people that we know fit into a category that yes they're a business owner and yes they might need a, a need for money so we get that ad out in front of all these people and then we hope that they click on it then they go to the next step and the next step and that's what a funnel is so when it comes to the ways that you know any of the stuff and the tools you're going to use are going to work online you know it's they're very difficult to build these funnels out and so once they're built out then you still have to fund them and so then money has to be put inside of them and you want to just make sure that that money is being used effectively and that's why we're doing so much testing on the different ways that we're using these funnels because if people like Jess or Brandon can show you how to build the funnel well then we still need to show you how to put money into it to get the right results from it and we don't want to get you connected to a system that's that's uh, wishy-washy in any way we want to make sure that it works very well and concise and so we've been doing a ton of testing on our own with a couple different groups that are in the business service world and we're going to be having some special webinars that we've been trying to put together for a while now especially uh, for Brandon and Jess of some groups that we're working with that that's what they specialize in is building out these funnels and they, they specialize in business services as well to get people through the whole funnel and what these landing pages actually look like so that you guys understand the way that funnel systems work because they are a great way to gain traction. But just keep in mind, no matter how we're bringing in the leads, they are all still the same people. 
Okay, there's only so many business owners in the whole country. There is quite a lot, but there, there are those are the, that's our target market for our products, right? We have millions and millions of people that own businesses that can all use our services. Now, when it comes to a funnel, we obviously have to you know, narrow down the demographics that we're going to reach out to for a specific type of service. And just like when you guys walk into a business, it's the same way when somebody sees an ad on the internet is they're going to see an ad for a service they might want. So as you can imagine, telling people about money and do you need money for your business or how to save money is always going to be the easiest way to do things. But when it comes to SEO services and businesses that want to gain more exposure, that's a big one too. And that comes with website development, mobile applications, reputation management, those three services right there put together. That's all type of stuff that every business now needs to move into the digital world. So, you know, to give you a little bit of overview, because we used to do an overview every single webinar, we'd be going doing a little, little overview about what W O Madden did and then people said okay we've had enough on the overviews now we need to know more details on how to get things done so now you guys have a whole lot of information with a whole lot of webinars about a bunch of individual services and the last thing we want to do is get anybody overwhelmed because there's so many different services available so that's why we want to make sure that we go back and do an overview about what it is that we really do as a whole. With WL Madden, we're taking businesses and we're moving them into the digital era. We're saving them money. We're getting them money and we're helping them move into the digital era by helping them with their overall web presence. That might include reputation management. That might include a mobile app. That might include a website. It depends on that business's needs and we're going to help you determine that. Now, now we can do some training to show you as well what that looks like and how would you know what a business really needs when you look at them online. There's some key things that we can show you how to look at. If you pull up somebody's website in your local area, you can tell right away if they need any of our tools. Okay, A lot of these businesses, if they don't have exposure online, right away we know that they don't have a business listing. We know that they don't have any SEO software and they're not listed on the top 50 biggest business platforms. They're going to need that software. And you guys have a great opportunity to get us on the phone with them to increase their internet exposure. And I can tell you one thing, the ones that we're working on right now, these websites that we're building out for some different people in some different areas. We have a couple of chiropractors now that we're working with because of Wendy's program that also needed websites and needed the reputation management software. And so they were very easy to work with because they knew that they needed it. And we want to make sure that you guys also understand how to search on the internet and to tell for yourself if these business owners need any of these services. And we're going to probably have to put together a training video and a Zoom meeting and then upload the recording for you just to show you if you were to go to Google and type in the name of that business right away as soon as you type in the name of that business you're actually going to be able to see what's going on with them online and if they have a strong web presence so we're going to break down that video for you too but again to bring it back to basics moving businesses into the digital world getting them the money they need right saving them money on their processing and then helping them their overall web presence. That's the biggest things that we're trying to do. The different services that we offer all go in line with each other. And once we can get them on even just a loan, we now have a relationship with them. And then we can go in and offer the other services, which you guys make a commission on all of those services. So it doesn't matter what the starting point is. If it starts off with a merchant account, that's okay, then we can get them other services as we go along. And it's always gonna start with, you know, one of the one of the services and we've had we've already had a good start with loans and now with Wendy's program we have a couple people that have brought us in chiropractors so um, those deals are now uh, formulating so Wendy's program is great you guys all got a chance to hear a little bit about it we're gonna um, we have a you know do a webinar specifically on Wendy's uh, program a few of the agents have been on webinars uh, with Wendy um, 
she's a little camera shy, so we actually didn't uh, uh, upload the one that we were going to upload because she's camera shy. But that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually just you know d develop a, a, a webinar for you guys that just gives you the highlights and give you some information on her program and on what event marketing is. And it's really great for that one type of business and for financial planners, for doctors and financial planners. It's a great way to get our foot in the door. Why do we want to get our foot in the door so that we can offer our other services such as credit card processing and loans where you guys make the bigger money okay now if we have any questions about loans um, and let's see I'm gonna answer some questions real quick but if you guys have any questions about loans and how they work we actually do have these videos that I keep telling you about already created and we need to get them just the, the music and the logos behind them they are syncing everything and I don't know what exactly is going on but this this week we're really trying to get them on there for this week and get things organized over the weekend with bullet points on each service because what we would like to do in the back office is have each one of the services outlined for you have the videos on each one then have bullet points on each one on a script that way you guys have those and if they have applications for the service we put them all back there in order for you that way you can see flow by flow how each service works all right, so we're trying to get that back there as fast as possible. You guys have the phone number, so during business hours, that's the one you wanna use, and I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys might have right now. And for those of you, by the way, that got leads from us that have been patient, I do wanna tell you we have an update system where you guys should be getting regular phone calls. I know a lot of you are, were in contact with me, and I simply was getting so many phone calls every day that we had to redirect some of the traffic. So there's a lot of you that I wanna to talk to and have be able to talk more one-on-one -on -one with, and we're trying to devise a plan Plan to where Alan can spend a certain amount of time with each person once a week or once every other week. So I'm just going to schedule certain hours aside. And then Marissa, if you guys have met Marissa before, she's my assistant. She's going to be giving you guys calls that are working a little bit more closely with us so that they can, she can schedule those times so that you guys that have, um, that work a little bit more closely with us can, I can actually schedule calls with you and she's going to organize those times. So we're putting together a whole calendar for Alan. As you can tell, I've been sleeping a little bit more, which is good. Um, but we still need to organize everything so that I can get to the things that I need to get to to spend a little bit of uh, time with each and every one of you. We have Brandon and Jess we really want to get um, on webinars and get to some of this funnel stuff and then we want to put together everything as organized as possible so we can actually start to develop this program to its full potential and to give you guys everything you need. So let's talk about, um, let's see, oh, Andrea. Uh, I would like to talk to you too. Okay, Andrea, I would, yes, we can definitely talk. Um, in, oh, Richard here. Yes, a regular discussion with you will be extremely productive. Okay, yes, and that's what we're going to do. And um, we're going to actually have Marissa. You guys will have, I did have her picking up my phone for a minute, but it actually completely, it actually created more of a problem because I wanted to take so many phone calls and she didn't know which ones that she should forward right away and which ones not to. So we're compiling a list of people that are on Alan's list that he needs to talk to on a regular basis to schedule time for you guys on the calendar so that I can have regular contact with some of you. And then some of you, um, we can even do separate webinars with, and that's what we're trying to design out now, is which people belong on which webinars for which reasons. So that way everybody can be in regular contact with us um, and for the right reasons, okay? So does anybody have any questions though about as far as, let me read through some of these on the loans here. So let's take a look here. Um, when a business owner says no, okay. Um, how do you know they mean no or try hard? Okay, the video keeps on buffering. Okay, that's probably because you're in Canada. Uh, Wayne, getting buffering up. Try refreshing the page. Can we get the funnels? Okay, <clears throat> it's um, well, it's not. Can we? Can we get the funnels? We they they need to be created. So funnels are created, but we can get you access to learn how to create the funnels, and and we can might be able to duplicate a funnel for you. That's what we're trying to do now. Is you know get one that you can duplicate that you can put money into. So we'll talk more about that uh, when we get when we when we get to that point. So let's see. Um, I got kicking down, you know, uh, not, a time spent, not even my business page. Okay. I got my IG kicking, right? Meow, right? Meow. Not a time spent yet. Um, 
I'm not sure what that is. Okay, people are clicking on my FB from my IG. So I know people are seeing it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so Jess has a few different pages that she's been working on, and those pages are kind of like funnels and different pages that, Dave, that, that you're probably talking about that we want to be able to give you access to understand the way those systems work. So there is a video that Jess put up that teaches you kind of how to build um, you know, the uh, Facebook uh, business page and then from there there's ways to create forms on there and to be able to do different things that are very similar to funnels that we're going to have to go into detail and create videos that are step by step they, the reason they're so difficult to do step by step is because there's so much involved with you know funnels and the way that they operate so if we can get pre-made funnels for you we definitely would like to do that we're trying to work on uh, we working with the company right now as a matter of fact that's giving us pricing on funnels that are extremely effective we're trying to just buy the first ones for you guys so that we can just give them to you guys that have been with us for a while and then uh, let you guys have at it with them. But they're, the initial building them out the initially is extremely – the types of funnels that these are, they're, uh, they're pretty comprehensive. And there's a lot of different types of funnels. It's not just the one – it sounds so simple. It's just a funnel, but it's, there's a lot that goes into – the dynamics of a funnel and how they operate and where the traction comes from and where the uh, traffic comes from. You can pay for what's called CPA traffic, which is cost per action, which means that you do get a guaranteed someone to fill out the form, but you pay every time that someone does that. And there's a certain amount that company, different companies charge. We're looking at different companies to find out the best pricing for you. And we're definitely going to try to, you know, get the best rates on anything like that so that if we can get something like that set up, all of these pages are already designed on your website for funnels. That would include the, um, the reputation management, that's already ready to go for somebody that wants to scan their business. Hey, is your business listed on Google? Scan your business for free right here. And that reminds me, that's another tool that you guys have. So we were checking around today when we were talking about funnels with one of the companies we work with. So you know, on your website, and when you go to the reputation management, if you scroll down on the website and you go to reputation management, you guys have all seen this service before, right? When you click on read more, okay, and you scroll down, at the very bottom here, it says click here to scan your business now. Now where it says click here, here is in blue, the word here, okay? That takes you to a software that we own, okay, that my company owns. And the actual website that that takes you to is scan.amfconsultingllc.com. We're going to get one set up for WL Madden, which will be scan wlmadden.com but right now it's scan.amfconsultingllc.com and I want to tell you about this for a reason so that's the actual URL I just sent right there scan.amfconsultingllc.com okay you guys if you guys go through your own websites and you click on reputation management and you click on read more right? And then when you go to read more, you come up to this page right here, what reputation management is, right? And then it says at the very bottom, click here to scan your business now. If you click on click here, it takes you to this page. This can be done mobily too. So this is another tool that's very useful because if you scan someone's business, it's going to show them in real time right there, all the business platforms that they are not on. And they're going to know that they need to be on those. And that is the tool for uh, that you would want to use for SEO or does a business actually have a listing on what, you know, if, they're, if, if you go into a business and you're talking to them about SEO, hey, you know, how would you like to be on the first page of Google? And they say, oh, we already pay for SEO or we've never thought about it or whatever the case might be. This is a simple tool that you can take them either through the website or you can just type in scan.amfconsultingllc.com on your phone. It will take you to this page. Now, you will, it would be preferable if you go through your website because if you go through your website, then we know it came from you. But if, if you just 
take them to WMN. It doesn't have to be through your website because you're going to take the lead and you're going to enter it into the mobile application anyways. And then you're going to call us right away anyways. You guys already know this is a very interactive program. So if you guys are working with a business and someone scans their business, if you guys can't figure out how to get to your exact page or you can't get for whatever reason or you just, you know, maybe um, when it comes to the technicalities of how to get them to your link or whatever the case might be, that doesn't matter because you can still go to your back office or on your mobile app. And you can put the lead into the back office afterwards. We know that that's your lead. So never is anybody going to go through any of our portals. And then it came from an agent. And then we find out later because you call us and say, hey, someone scanned their business. That was my lead. And we are not going to pay you. So you're always going to get paid from us on any of the leads you develop. That's first and foremost. So if somebody ends up going to WL Madden, through a different source, but we know that it's your lead because you talk to that business owner and we know that it went through your back office, you're definitely going to get paid on that deal because we want to make sure you guys get paid as much as possible because that's what's going to give you the motivation to keep going on. Now, Mike also is probably going to be jumping on some training videos and webinars with you guys because he's a great training tool and he's been doing this on the streets and on the phone and with funnels and all the stuff that we use as well for years as well. And I want you guys to get a feel for what it is to interact with him. He's got a lot of energy and he's been in the business service world and knows exactly how to talk to business owners about these things as well. And I think you guys will really like working with him. When you call in, same as Marcus, he's very friendly. You guys are going to love I mean, anybody that we bring over. We make sure they're well vetted and well qualified to work with all of us and all of you because we want to make sure that, again, that you guys have all the tools that you need. Now, one thing that you know I always want to take the time to apologize on is that with there's certain tools that you guys don't have, such as different flyers and different things, here's the challenge that we're finding when it comes to you guys having stuff to email out. Because you guys aren't on our system, so to speak, with your emails and you all use, some of you use Gmail, some of you use Outlook, some of you use Yahoo, and there's no way for us to give you template emails, so to speak, without you guys making them yourself and then taking the flyers that that we give you are different things that we give you so you guys can use them to send out as email templates so to speak but we do want to give you as much resources as possible I know Wayne we, uh, Wayne we gave um, the the processing application to and then also a, a way to forward an email that talks about what the cat the cash discount program is and a lot of people have been asking for information just something for the business owners to look at the truth is just so you guys know when we actually talk to a business owner and we sell them, we almost never have to send them anything because anytime a business owner wants more information, what they're really saying is typically, you know, that they're, they still have questions and that's the thing. So now we do want to give you, so our website has tons of information about all of our services right on there. Mobile applications, this pages of information. Uh, the processing stuff, it gives them the gist of what we're doing. The cash discount program, we do want to give you email templates to, to be able to send out or attachments that you can send out that talk about the different services. And Will and Greg are coming up with some pretty creative ways to give you guys templates as attachments to send out on email so people can see them if they do ask about the cash discount program. We put one together very recently I think Wayne might have gotten that one. Hopefully he did. And that one has what the cash discount program is. Um, but when it comes to contracts and all that, keep in mind, everything we do is month to month with the business owner. If they don't like the service, then they don't have to pay us at all anymore. So there's no long, you know, yearly anything. Everything is done month by month. If they want to go with someone else, then they can. They're not going to want to leave once they start the cash discount program because they're not paying any fees. Same thing with the SEO services. When they start to see that they're on all these different business listings and how much response they get, just like any other business owner that works with us on the SEO, they're not going to want to go anywhere else because they're going to be on the first page of Google. Why would they ever want to come off the first page of Google? So keep in mind how much, how dynamic what you actually have is. A lot of times it's easy to take a look at stuff that seems a little bit overwhelming to forget what you guys really have at your disposal. You guys have the best of the best business services 
in every single light, SEO, credit card processing, mobile applications, SEO services for, uh, for, for any type of you know, website, web development, keywords, all this type of stuff that every business needs. So it is sometimes a little bit tricky to know which one to approach business owners with and to find out what their hot buttons are. But a lot of times I'm quite frank with business owners and I just ask them, where do you want to be in a year from now? If we could, you know, find out where they want to be in a year from now, then we can get a p pretty picture of, you know what, I want to have more customers. I want to open a second location. I want to get this one full or I want to, based on what they tell us, we're going to know from years of doing this, what they need from us. Typically, they need more people in the door and typically they wanna save money or they need money right away. Almost every business owner is in the same situation and it's all about just learning how to build that rapport with them. If you're doing it online, then our salespeople will be able to handle that rapport building with them. If you guys have heard Mike or Marcus or myself on the phone with the business owner, you guys will know that we're pretty good at what we do and we're able to speak to these business owners pretty easily because we've been selling these services for so long. Okay. Now, let's take a look here at some questions. Uh, what do you put in the post box section on the app? The post box section. Um, Okay, um, are you talking about on the mobile application maybe? It's maybe what you must be referring to. So let me see. Um, I don't know if, the, if there is a PO box, that might be why that's on there. I think that must be what you're talking about. So let me look at the mobile application real quick and see if that's what you're referring to. Let's see. Uh, postal code? Let's see. I don't see post box. Unless you're talking about the merchant application, in which case you would put their uh, P.O. box. Post box stands for P.O. box. P.O. is actually short for post box. So that might be, so if they have a P.O. box, that's probably, that might be what you're referring to. So that's what you put in there is their P.O. box, if they have one. Okay. Uh, hang on. I would like to talk to you too. Okay. Yes. And Andrea, um, I saw that you tried to call today. I really wish that I wasn't on the phone all day with all these people that were trying to get these all these new things that we're trying to bring into the program for you guys. And we're on the phone all day trying to get things aligned properly for you guys. And that's where my time is being consumed right now. And that's why we brought people in for you guys to be able to call. But there are a few of you that I need to catch up with, um, a bunch of you actually on this webinar right now. So I am going to be able to, I'm going to have Marissa, like I said, schedule time that I can talk to each one of you and I want to try to get a meeting with each one of you at different times and schedule them on a regular basis that way it's right on my calendar and every Tuesday I know that I have an in a meeting with Patricia and Lawrence for example or with Andrea or whoever it might be so that way I can my time can be divided properly because uh, unfortunately what's what started happening is that when I opened up my phone number and the ability for agents to start calling me I get so I get my phone two phones actually ring simultaneously all day long and it doesn't give me the uh, ability to be able to, to focus on getting the work done to, to finish up getting the program set up the way that you guys need set up you guys um, I hope you guys understand we already have another mobile application that's in the works for you guys that I haven't been able to give them the rest of the information to finish we have a bunch of videos and a professional video editing team um, that we uh, haven't been able to utilize fully that we've already paid for we already paid for that other mobile application we already paid for some softwares that we now just need to sit down with these companies to get them implemented to give to you guys including the MLM builder and the software for the MLM thing so all this stuff has already been paid for now we need to give people instructions and that includes me in meetings with these companies and then sitting down and taking the time to do that so you know what what it really would take for me is to take two or three weeks just completely off um, to, to, to get it done you know but we're gonna break it up into bite-sized pieces and schedule time for me to be able to speak with all of you and then anything that other people can handle we're gonna let those other people handle those things they specialize in so you guys are really gonna like Mike he's probably gonna jump on some webinars we're gonna do some definitely some training videos you guys are gonna like um, what he has to say and the training that he's gonna do with you guys when it comes to how to approach businesses because he's a really dynamic person and is also really talented face-to-face -face and on the phone so a lot of stuff that we do especially like Andrea 
she calls businesses and she's doing really well. She's got a lot of contact with businesses and on the business loans, Andrea, you're going to work very closely with Mike because you can get him right on the phone with any business and he'll get the deal uh, closed. And then uh, let's see, what is our advantage on funding versus other lenders? Okay. So that's a great question. Well, first of all, we have, you know, because we have so many different lenders that we work with, I can tell you right now, we just brought in three different deals from a lead file that went to other lenders that they couldn't get funding for them. And we got them approved. The reason why is because we have, we have a, a couple banks that are private banks. One of them is called dynasty ventures that we work with. And they are, this is, uh, you gotta understand the, the private lending world. Any type of cash advance for a business is private money. What that means is that everybody has what's called an underwriting department. And a big company has very strict policies on underwriting. So like the bank that is on our website, they're great. And they, if you have great credit and you're perfect scenario, then they can get you the best lines of credit. They can do all lower rates and all kinds of things. But what about the typical business owner that can't get approved because their credit's not that good or they haven't been in business forever or whatever the case might be? Well, that's where we come in and we shine because we can get money when other people can't because it's our it's private money. So you're dealing with an underwriting department of people that are that privately fund these deals and we have the connections to those private lenders so we're not dealing with some huge bank that makes decisions based on you know different these people look at the deals individually and they say you know what based on all the information that this business owner is now growing even though their credit's not the best but we can see that every month they're bringing in a little bit more money or maybe it's seasonal maybe from you know maybe from march till july they bring in a lot more money and then during the months they're off months they don't and they need money during that time they'll go backwards through the statements They'll look through them and say, okay, well, we know this business is staying consistent and they can afford this much money every month. So we'll still go back and give them the loan. So the, the, op, the, that's one, that's one thing that, that when it comes to lending, but that's, you're asking a very large question. What about the fact that we can get deals done that are, you know, 20 million, 65 million, 213 million right now we're working on very three very large deals that are millions and millions of dollars why because we have the relationships to the people that have that kind of money so on those bigger deals we deal with lenders that have access to the types of funds and the relationships and actually the the backing behind it they've done this for quite some time we have two very large lending pools now for deals in the range of anything over 250,000 so when it comes to anything under 250,000 to accurately answer that question we can get deals funded that nobody else will touch to get deals um, to get to get on the larger deals most people can't don't even would never even know where to go to get those deals funded we have the ability to get those deals done quickly and we know that they they are you know they're in the works right now these bigger ones that we're working on um and that's the benefit that you guys have is we can get anything funded pretty much on any level as long as it's possible always keep in mind when it comes to lending there's a few things that are going on okay what number one what's going on is that just like if you guys were going to let your friend borrow money is that you want to make sure that your friend has a way to pay you back, right? So a lender is also going to look at all the facts. Do, does this person have a way to pay me back? So if a business is not bringing in any income, it's going to be very hard to get them money because they don't have any way to pay it back. There's no initial income coming in. That's why they have to bring in at least $10,000 a month. Now, as long as they're bringing in $10,000 a month and they've been in business three months, then we have a very high success rate because we work through so many different lending pools. We only deal with three like main banks because we trust them. The other option is that the other, the other, uh, the answer to your question is that we have very good trust. So Wayne, if you bring a deal to any, some other lender, you might find somebody out there and then they tell you it's not approved. The next thing you know, that business is getting a loan, but you didn't get paid your commission on it. That's very common in the lending world because why would they want to pay you your commission? Unlike us, who you're our agents, we want to make sure that you get 
the money that you have coming to you. And we also know that you're going to know if that deal got funded because you're going to find out one way or the other. If you brought a deal into us and then they got funded afterwards, you're going to find out about it down the road, right? So these other fun funding groups, this is you're in a very, uh, you know, touchy area when it comes to business lending and you need to be able to trust the person that you're giving your deal to because a lot of these lenders will tell you hey they're, they're approved but uh they're, they're not approved there's nothing we can do sorry about that then the next thing you know they're getting funding and it's not them that funded it but it's another group that they had called that they got a commission on there they people do a lot of sneaky things in the in the business lending world because there is so much money to make and they don't like to pay out the commissions so we're going to always make sure that you guys get paid your commissions and then we trust our lenders we have a couple that we work very closely with that we know very well and they they don't want to stop the pipeline from coming in with us so of course they're not going to ever mess around with the deal to, if they you know and tell us that it didn't get approved we have very strong relationships with those lenders and they're not going to get stolen and then brought somewhere else that business owner's information is never going to get brought anywhere outside of WL Madden they're not going to start getting phone calls from 20 different companies and that's typically what happens with business owners is that if they go online and they go looking for a business loan Typically, let's say somebody goes to Jessica's funnel. Well, typically, they go to a funnel like that. They're getting called from about 5 million different lenders the second they do that. Why is that? Because most people that are using funnels are simply selling those leads to every lending company in the world. We're not doing any of that. We value the client's information very much. It doesn't go outside of our reach. It only stays with us. We don't resell any of their information to other people because that's not how we that's not what we make our money. So, you know, the relationships that we have on all of these different services, it's super important for us because we do offer all the services right here for us to keep them in-house. Other companies will take that lead and then they'll sell them to other business service companies. They'll sell lending deals to pizza website companies. Website companies will sell, you know, website stuff to other SEO companies and vice versa. There's a lot of that that goes on that you guys don't know about outside of, you know, what you guys are doing that we have to deal with in the industry as far as business leads, where we buy them from, what we're talking to them about. And so that's why you always have to be very careful when it comes to the business service world because people's information can be resold over and over again now they're getting phone calls every 10 minutes and they have no idea why and it's because the wrong person got a hold of their financial information their application ended up going out to five million lenders when they didn't want it to we're very careful to make sure that that stuff stays protected okay so marcus helped me last week i have a follow-up appointment with a client tomorrow i need help talking to the client okay anita so that's so we we're just going to take that right over. We have the leads. We have all the leads, and Mike will work right with you on that follow-up call to get that handled. So all of any of the deals that Marcus was working on, we've already got the list of them. And again, uh, unfortunately, it just Mar Marcus's um, lack of – he's – a great guy and he's very willing to learn but the amount of training that we need in this industry is a lot and and right now is not the time that we have time to mess around with with training and, and we have so much training to go over with Marcus that we're gonna have to bring him back in after he gets a little bit more feel for it so he's still working with us on certain projects but he's also gonna continue doing what he was doing that way he can kind of morph into the system where Mike he's right with us he's been in this world for a while and we're going to take over that that lead so just make sure that you call in directly in just like you would to Marcus at the same number Mike will pick the phone up he'll be right there and he'll work with you on that lead and I'll introduce you guys okay um, does my business card have to look like the template no, it does not. If you want to get your own business cards developed, just make sure they have the correct information and then the logo on there. And if you need the logo, just talk to Will and he'll get you the logo. And you can design them however you want. Okay. Um, to get a business scanned in, what is the steps? Okay. To get a business scanned in. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by scanned, but um, if you just take pictures of the bank statements, or, I mean, it depends on what, what part you're talking about. Um, when you say scanned in, I don't know what that means. But what we need is three months of bank statements and an application that's filled out. So if we give you an application, 
and you get it filled out for a loan, for example, and you give us the three months of bank statements, again, uh, that's all we need. But we'll get all that for you and we'll, we'll get it from them. That's what we need, though. So you would have to scan that information in to us on a scanner. Um, so somehow it has to come across a fax machine or a scanner or email to us or something of that nature. But again, what we can do with you, Wayne, because you work so closely with a lot of these companies, whatever tools that we need to give you, I'm going to have Keith and Mike get for you. So you have direct access to be able to get these deals into us if you're going to be dealing directly with applications and things of that nature. Okay. Um, Bridget, mine don't. Um, okay. Let's see. I sent you a lead for a politician who saw the advantage of the 0% discount for credit card contributions. Did you see it? I probably didn't personally see it because I didn't look back there, but um, the lead team did, and they probably called it and tried to get in touch with that person. So I'll get in touch. What you want to do all the time when you have a question about a particular lead, you are always welcome to call right into the business service center at that 877 number, have them pull the lead right up and get an update directly on that lead. That goes for any of you that are sending in leads that are what I call hot leads, people that are interested right now in a particular service. Hopefully you guys can do me a favor in the section where it, it, it says notes um, and where it says what the two most important things that we need is the service they're interested in and the best time to reach that person so that we can get on the phone with them. Because one thing that we have a big problem with is leads and, and when we reach these business owners, they almost, they, it's, it's almost impossible to pick, get a business owner to pick the phone out unless we know specifically what time is the best time to reach them. So if we have an appointment, then like I said, if you guys know, hey, this guy uh, is interested in this and he's able to talk at this time, you can literally call right into us and we'll talk to them right with you on the phone. We just need to be able to know the best time to get on the phone with them. So you always want to ask the person the person that you're that you're talking to, if it's a politician, great. Okay, great. What I'd like to do is get you on the phone with my partner. What's the best time of day to reach you and what day works for you? And then call us directly. And what you can do, uh, Mr. Dillon, is that you can go and you can call Mike and say, Mike, I have politician so-and-so and he's ready to talk to you. At, I already put the lead in the back office. So did you see it? Okay, great. Call him at 2 o'clock on Sundays. That's the best time to reach him. And we will definitely call him at 2 o'clock with you on the phone so that you can listen to us talk to him as well. Or we'll record the conversation because all of our phone calls are recorded so you can hear what we say to these people as well. So we'll call them right there with you on the phone if we know the best time to do to, to call them. So you can call right in and get an update on any of your leads any time. That includes Andrea. That includes all of you that send in leads. Anita, you guys have already experienced that with Marcus. It's the same thing with, uh, with Mike. And so you have Adam and Keith. Their job is to, you know, get, get, like go through the leads and set the times for Mike to get on the phone. But if there's a specific time that we know that they're going to be available uh, and, and we're able to get right on the phone with them, Adam just turns the phone right over to Mike. And then Mike says, Hey, how you doing? My name's Mike and I'm going to be helping you with your business loan or explaining the cash discount program or the mobile application or whatever the case is. So we have a system in the way that we do things. And it basically goes from, you know, the people that have all the experience and that are closing the deals. The goal is to get them on the phone to get the deal done. And we also, we're noticing more and more people like Wayne and Larry and a few other people, um, maybe, uh, and, and there's actually quite a few of you that, that have that a little bit more, um, perseverance or have been doing this a little bit longer that right there on the spot, you're ready to give them the application. You have enough information to where you can actually get the deals done yourself. And as you guys know, on those types of deals, that you're actually closing without us having to do do the closing, the commission goes up. So, and even I'm going to tell you right now, just so you guys know, even if we have to do a portion of the work um, and you guys did the majority of it, we're still going to give you a bigger commission because we want you guys to do well with these campaigns and to do well with these leads um, and to do well with what's going on. So we have no problem on any money that's coming into the company giving you a bigger chunk than you know the 25 percent depending on the circumstances um, meaning that any money that comes into the company that's developed by you guys 
that's no issue with us giving you a big portion of it. The goal is to get money coming in from you guys so we can do that. And so, you know, and you guys, a lot of you are doing a great job on bringing these leads in. So now the more money that we have coming in as a company on that level, the more money we can pay out to you guys. And so we're trying to get a steady process put together. So keep in mind, this program is still newer uh, overall as far as how long we've been around and how long. So we think we launched this in September was really the official and that's pretty much October. So September, uh, October, that's really when we launched the program in the first place, just the beginnings of it. So now we're going into, you know, you have November, December, January, February, March. We're only really five months into this process. So for some of you, that seems like a really long time. But the fact is, as a company and our processes and the way that we're doing things, we're learning with you guys as we go. And, and, and it might look easier for the people that join later on because we already smoothed everything out and you guys had to battle through it with us to get to whatever point we get to in the future. But you guys are teaching us a lot because we find out what your needs are and now we have to figure out a way to meet your needs. And that's what our job is when we're designing out the program. So because of technology, it's funny the way technology works, but there's so many different types of software, different technologies, different way to do things that sometimes technology can work against you because there are a million different ways to do things and just picking one that's going to work best for everybody is very, very difficult. And that's kind of where we're at now is making major decisions about certain softwares and different processes that we're using. So in order to get through that, we use you guys' um, advice or your needs to find out what you guys need. And we say, wow, you know what, if they need this and we do it this, this, and this way, we're going to be able to get them to do a lot better with the program. And we we come up with new ideas all the time and that's why we love working with you guys because it teaches us how to make things better and better okay so uh, is there a number for Mike or how do I get in contact with him yes there's the number for Mike and by the way he's going to have a, a direct line on a cell phone that's already been ordered because Marcus was actually using his personal cell phone so you guys had access to that we want to give uh, Mike a company phone and that way we don't have any issues with that but right now you're gonna want to use the 800 number Andrea which is 877, one more time, uh, 262, during business hours, 5036. All right? Now, on that phone number, there's a couple different people over there. You have Adam, you have Keith, you have Mike, and then for Wendy's program, we have a specialist just on Wendy's program right now that's learning it really well to best answer your questions and help you with that. His name is Jeff. So if you guys get a chiropractor, on the phone that's interested in flooding their business with more patients, you're going to want to refer them to Jeff. He's the specialist specifically for that service. Okay, That way you guys have someone to contact at the same number right there. And that's going to be between the hours of 9 to 5 Arizona time. Just to let you know, because there's such a big East Coast difference, we're going to try to move things down about two hours so it's going to be from uh, seven o'clock Arizona time to four o'clock Arizona time that way you guys have the better chance to get us on the phone in the mornings with people because we notice that it's a little late okay so Good night. Okay, so that way you guys have the ability to talk to people at night. So we're trying to shift the hours because we are in Arizona. We want you guys to have access to people in the morning. Okay, so we're trying to shift around some hours. We're making some major changes in the program right now, and that includes people coming in and out of the company. So again, you know, we, we bring a lot of people in and out. There's quite a few people that we have at the company, and uh, quite frankly, um, we really like Marcus. And we want to continue working with Marcus on different levels and eventually bring him back on um, on a full time level. But when it comes to needing someone, something that we need right now for you guys is someone who's 
specializes in processing just like myself in business loans. And Mike has been in the industry just as long as I have um, when it comes to knowing about how these credit card processing companies work and how loans work. When it comes to loans, uh, we do want to give you more information of the different types of loans out there. We have a video that we created, but we definitely need to create a secondary video for that one because there are so many different types of funding. We want to break it down to keep it real simple for you. But the average business loan, again, is a cash advance. That's what it's called. That gets businesses instant cash, anything in the $250,000 range and under, typically $100,000 and under. And that's when we really want to just get the three months bank statements in and get an application right out to them. We'll give you guys access to the applications yourselves so you can send them right into us and then you can actually, you know, scan them in. As you say, we can even allow you to send them in with your phone. So I think, Wayne, maybe what you were asking is can we basically, um, oh, when is the new member program going in effect? The new member program as far as uh, bringing in new people underneath you, is that what you mean? Wayne? If that is what you're talking about, we have a new software that we're looking at right now that tracks all the mathematics behind it. The biggest thing that we're struggling with is the the tracking of commissions. We don't want any problems in that. So yes, so that's what the holdup is with that, is that the MLM, MLM builder has to attach to our website now, and our website also has to track the same mathematical commissions. And that's where Greg and the IT team is trying to um, basically Okay, Jess, I'll talk to you soon, and thank you for being with us, and we'll talk, and I'll get you on a phone call soon as well. But yeah, so we'll, we'll break that down for you, but what, this, what the big issue with the with bringing, enrolling people underneath you and getting that going really has to do with the mathematics and tracking of the commissions across both boards and how that's going to work. So our IT team is trying to look at how that's going to level out across both um, situations. So we're trying to get that situated, but uh, I would say, you know, in the next probably 30 days, we'll be completely done with figuring out how that's going to work. Okay. We've talked about this before is that IT always takes a little bit longer than we expected, but that's when that you're welcome. Okay. So guys, um, I think it is getting late for everybody, but what we can do is start to handle some of these other questions on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But that's what we're, we're looking on right now is that we need both systems to match up with the softwares. And so that you guys, your commissions are tracked properly and we need them to go across both websites. So we had to find a software on our website that also correlates with the MLM Builder software. And that's what Greg and Will are looking at is making sure that they can sync up properly. It's called the API integration and formulating those integrations between both platforms. Okay? So um, that's where we're at with that. But it will be relatively soon, that's for sure. And again, the good news is that we want to get some of these other kinks worked out beforehand as well. That way you guys have what you need. And when we open that up, you guys have a real strong program to bring people into. Okay, so with that, we're going to close and I'll talk to you guys soon. We'll talk again on Saturday and then we'll on Saturday, hopefully we'll have some updates on things that are going to be in your back office for you. Okay, so you guys have a great night. We'll talk soon.